Hi everyone. So today I thought I would do just a fun little um, making tags with you in real time. So then I just have two, two samples like this one. We just, we're just using a stamp set on both of them and then some washi tape and some bling. And then I'll show you what we're going to do on the back that's really super fun. I'll go ahead and show you with this one. Is a, is, oh, let me show you what you need to have first. Um, so maybe some bling. These are just from the Dollar Tree. Um, some tags. You can either make your own tags or you can buy some that were pre-made. These came pre-made with the stamps that I have here. And these were from... Um, For, these were from Hobby Lobby. There's a it's, it's a rubber stamp and tag kit, so it came with the tags, and then all these fun stamps here. So let's and then you need your your ink of your choice. You can either stick with black, or you can get brown or whatever colors you want to work with, and then a selection of washi, and then some alcohol markers. And so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Roll up our sleeves. I like to start with them. Um, one tag here. And it works easier if it's on a comfortable surface. And our lovely Ranger Archival ink. And let's do this one that says Season's Greetings. I haven't used that one yet. And when it's a new stamp like this, I like to take it and bring the ink to the stamp until the stamp is all the way covered because it makes for better ink coverage and it gets the stamp more ready for it too. Okay, and that looks really good. And now we are going to wait till you feel like it's steady and press down, count to 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then hold on to the tag part and lift straight up. See, I think that's a pretty good impression. I'm, I like that. So let's go ahead and do some more. And we're just stamping it out. How about have yourself a merry little Christmas? <clears throat> and I'm going to bring the ink to the stamp to really get it in there. Want a good impression. Okay. And let's see, this one can either, you can either do this one on the top there or you can turn it this way. I think I'm going to put it on the top there and press down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold on to the tag and lift up. See, not too bad. And let's try this North Pole one because I haven't used this one yet. And bring the ink to the stamp. I like this one. It looks like it has a little cute little postage on it. And then we're just going to scoot those forward. Get another tag. I'm going to stamp this one this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. And let's just keep going with the different ones. Let's do the little snowman now. Okay, now I've noticed with the snowman, there's a lot of intricate design in it, so I do like to try to line it up, and let me show you the trick I use for that. It looks like it's fully covered, because it's so big, it's not really that big, but I'm going to go ahead and blow on it, just to be sure, to keep the ink nice and moist. I'm sorry about the camera angle, but I'm going to put this towards me and I'm going to line this up straight and then push that down. We're going to leave that on there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then hold on to that edge there and pull up. And that's not too bad. It's not the very best, but it's not too bad. Um, if you're satisfied with this, go ahead and leave it at this. Or you can always flip it over and stamp it again. It's up to you. I'm going to leave it like that because I still do like it. But we're going to try to do another one just the same. And try to make sure that that one's a little bit more soaked through. So let's go ahead and bring the ink to this stamp. 
We get all of that stamp nice and covered up in that black ink. You know, I think it looks much more inked up. I'm going to blow on it again. And let's line it up sideways this time. Okay. I'm going to push straight down. And we're just going to hold that there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And of course, apply pressure. And now we're going to push up. And I do like this one much better. But still, the other one wasn't bad either. Now let's try the Merry Christmas with the poinsettias. I'm going to ink that up nice and good. And let's put get another tag out. Because I think it's just fun to make tags. Let's flip this one around. I want to do this one this way. Okay, and just press down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And press up. Not too shabby. And let's do a mer um wishing you a very Merry Christmas one now. Okay. Let's get this one really inked up really well. So do you guys make tags for Christmas for, for your family or for your friends? I think this is the first time where I've sat there and made them. I've always done like the quick little two froms, which I'll show you in a second. But yeah, make sure that's inked up really well. And when you bring the ink to the stamp, it really helps that ink to go down onto the stamp because you've got gravity working for you. And then try to line it up absolutely straight and press down. I think this one went a little over, but that's okay. Keep pressing down. And straight up. And actually, I thought it did, but it didn't go over. I'm actually very happy with that. Okay. Let's see. Let's do a few more. Let's do a few more of the North Pole ones. Let's do a North Pole and then maybe another one. And this way, we because this is a glossy tag paper, that way we can let it dry a little bit. So let's go with that cute little North Pole. Ink it up. Let's hold that down. And then straight up. Oh, I really like that. On this one, let's change the orientation of it. We'll move it this way. Straight down. And then our straight up. Oh, I like that one even better. Okay, now let's go with that. Have yourself a merry little Christmas one. Ink that up. And let's just put it a little bit farther down than the North Pole one. And hold that down. And lift up. See how much better the impression is when you just leave it there for a moment. So let's let's do let's do that wishing you a Merry Christmas one again. And then we'll do one more no man, I'm well, no, another Merry Christmas. And it really is worth, it, worth taking the time to make sure that your stamp is really well inked. Try to make the tag straight. Press down. Can hold it on there. And then straight up. Yep, I really like that one. Okay, let's just do a few more. Let's see. Let's see how many do we have left. Two, three, four, five. Now we've had five left. Let's do more where we combine them. 
Okay. So let's maybe do Merry Christmas with Lake North Pole. Do this one across and then hold it there. Okay. And then let's do the North Pole one. <clears throat> I will put it underneath that one. No, actually, I'm going to put it down on the bottom. So you're playing with placement. You don't have to have it up or down. Ooh, I like that. And I'm going to take that North Pole again. And we're going to stamp it on this one. And just hold that. Let that ink transfer down. Okay, and then let's go with the Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. And let's put this one down on the bottom too. I think that will look nice. So we've got two that are kind of similar but kind of different. Okay. Oh, that's very nice. Okay. <clears throat> and let's go ahead and do the last three. I mean, why not? Seriously. Okay, let's do. Let's do a season's greetings. Okay. And we'll just hold that there. If you want to, you can pulse it down. I'll just hold it and then straight up. I like that. And then <clears throat> let's do a Merry Christmas. Okay. And we'll do a Merry Christmas. Yeah, down at the bottom. Four and five. Awesome, and I think we'll do the Merry Christmas up here, too. <clears throat> on this one. And I think on the bottom, we'll do the Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. I think that'll be super cute. Okay, and then that little thin one that says Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas right here. Get it inked up really well. Okay, and we'll put it down on the bottom there. I think that would look super cute. <clears throat> Perfect. And then I think what I want to do with this last one is let's go ahead and do this one. So wishing you a very Merry Christmas. Let's do that one. Make that one up really well. And let's see if we can put it maybe right in the middle. See, and I'm just going back and forth. Try to get lots of ink on there. Let's kind of put it right in the middle there and just keep that pushed down. And now I figured we'd do all the stamping first because this the tags were kind of glossy and then next we'll do the washi. So let's go ahead, hold on to the tag and lift up. I like that a lot. Okay, now let's go ahead and just go ahead and pre-select some washi that you like that you feel would go along with this. So let's go ahead and take our little snowman. <clears throat> take our little snowman. Let's take some blue because snowmen are in the snow is kind of thought of as blue.
And we gotta figure out where this one starts. So just run your nail along it until you find it. Yeah, that's the heater kicking on, guys. Sorry about that. But I'm just working with what I have. And actually, let's go back to this color because I'm having a really hard time finding out where it starts from. I don't expect you guys to sit here and wait and wait and wait. So... Let's go to the other blue. Well, oops, is that it? I think it might be. Okay. I'm not sure if that is where it starts or not. So let's go to this other blue here kind of silver and blue leopard print because I know where this one starts. Okay. And we're going to put some, now look at each tag because each tag will be a little bit different. And I like to do a little bit more than what, 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 what will fit on there. So I'll put it right there. And then we're just going to wrap it around. And take your your tweezers or whatever instrument you have and just reinsert that hole so it just goes back in there so you can put your string through it. See, and I think that looks really cute. And let's go ahead and do more of them with the, the washi. Let's go to this one. Merry Christmas. So let's get out a pink. Pink washi. And I'm just going to move the stamps over here so they're not in our way. <clears throat> I'll peel some forward. And on this one, this cute little Merry Christmas, we're going to put that one on the bottom. And then we're just going to wrap it around. Let's pick another color. This other pink, I think it's cute. And like I said, you can use any washi, any colors that you would like. And I just like to wrap it around because then you don't have to cut anything. There's not any extra steps. And then plus you have a nice little embellishment on the back. Okay. And then let's do this one that says North Pole. Let's do some gold. And just kind of hop around with your colors and have some fun. And I did use the gold the other day, so I should be able to find out where this one starts, you would think. There we go, we got it. And you know what, on this one, because of the orientation, I'm gonna make it go this way on the bottom. I think that will look super cute. Okay. So how cute is that? And then we're going to take some of this silver. Right. And you know what? I'm going to put it this way so it kind of looks like a package. I think that will be super cute. Yeah. And it's not straight, but you know what? It really doesn't matter. These are just tags, you know? Okay. And then on this one, I'm going to use some green. These green and silver ones. Okay, 
going to put one on top here, right up above his little hat, wrap it around, and we'll go ahead and make that hole back again. And you just do it in a twisting motion. See, isn't that super easy? Okay, and then let's get another one. Let's just keep putting washi tape on these. I mean, that's pretty fun, right? I'm gonna take a nice, lovely pink. Okay, I'm gonna put it on the bottom. Okay. Okay, let's do another one. Wishing you a Merry Christmas. And let's take, let's see if we can get this blue one to start right. We gotta try once in a while to get it to go what it's supposed to do. Let's see if we can pull it and make it look right here. Okay, so we do have a hole here, but let's see if we can make, make it work. Okay, we are kind of making it work. Okay, there we go. We've got it. We've got it going. Okay, so we got the little bit to work there. Put it right there. And see, when you make these, it doesn't matter if they're straight or if they're per perfect or if they're a little crooked. These are just tags, and you're just meant to have fun with them. You know, with a few simple supplies that I'm sure most most um, stampers or crafters very well have. And then I'm going to use this pink again. I'll put that one on there. And then I want to end it with a green one. Because wouldn't that be super fun? On the bottom there. See, all I am. It's just really easy. No think too hard or complicated about it. Let's wrap it around. Okay, let's take our season's greetings. And let's do like silver and gold on that. So. Do you guys like that um, silver and gold song that they sing on um, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? I think it's a really cute little, little melody. There we go, we got it. And see, it's not like precise measuring or exact, but that's all right, right? And I want to use gold on this one too. Yep, I found it. And you just pull it and tear, so it makes it really simple and easy. Okay. Let's do some of these ones that have the middle. So North, North Pole and Merry Christmas makes me think of blue. So I'm going to use this blue again. Okay. Isn't that pretty? It's like silver and blue. And we're going to put that right in the middle. Isn't that nice? And up at the top, let's put the silver. Well, actually, now let's put it in the middle, just a little bit above where it says North Pole. See, super cute. 
Okay, let's do this one next. North Pole, Heather Superman, Little Christmas. I think we'll use this hot pink and the light dots. Okay, let's roll it out. Tear it. Pop it on. And then let's go ahead and use a green. You know, I'm just like some of it's pre planned, but mostly it's just um, you know, picking up a color of washi tape and just deciding ahead of what you're going to use. It just makes the project so much easier. Okay, there we go. Got the green and the silver. All right. Quickly blow up, wrap it around. Super cute. Let's see. Let's do this one next. Uh, yeah, let's do this one next. Let's do silver. Silver. And let's go ahead and do a green. And let's do it the long way so it looks like a present. It will cover some of the stamping because it's really not a biggie. You can make each one different and unique while having fun, right? And then we'll just fold it over and tuck it under there. So it'll be like a little strip on both sides. That's really nice. Okay. So let's see, we've got just about like four or five left. Yeah, five left to do. So let's just wrap them up quickly. Go to this pink one. Okay. Right in the middle on that one. That's all that one needs. <clears throat> okay. The one that's with North Pole. We'll put this blue. Well, actually, no. Let's use this blue. This blue is a little bit easier to find. And then let's do, let's do this purpley, purpley pinky color. All right. Let's wrap that around there. All right. I'm going to do the last two off camera, last three off camera, and then I will show you the next step. All right. When you're done getting your washi all over your cute little tags, go ahead and take out your echo markers. I would pick maybe four to five colors at the most. Um, and then just decide which one you're going to do first and take your bling. And start with your brush tip if you have some better brush tip. And like the snowman, we're going to do two blues. So you just color it in and it colors your bling the color that you want it to be. So we got blue there. And then we're going to take this one. And do a green one. And then you just take it, you peel it off, and you just pull. See, and like the two, I'm going to put them up here. And then this green one, I'm just going to put it in the corner on the bottom. See, and then that one's done. Let's take the season's greetings. We'll take this pink. The darker pink will do one, two up, and then we'll do one of the light pink. 
Now I like to work, when I do this, I like to work in increments of three to five because you'll get the, the best results. And I'm thinking that one I'll put right, I'll put these two right here on the side. And then this little pink one, I'm gonna put it right down here in this corner by the Christmas. Okay, and then let's take this one, which is a blue and a pink. So let's do that lighter pink. And we'll do two of that one. And then we'll take, I mean the darker pink, and then we'll take the blue. And we'll go ahead and put one on there. You can accent. Okay. And then just pull them off. Okay, I think we're going to put the blue down here. And we're just trying to create a triangle. And let's let Lily leave the pink one there, and then we'll put a pink, the pink one up there. That one's done, and we'll take our Merry Christmas. And on this one, we're going to use opposite colors. So we're going to do a blue, a, a blue, two blues, and then we'll do a green. See, and this is just a super easy way to color your gemstones. You get the clear ones. It makes it a lot easier. I'm going to just pull it off. And I think on this one, put the one two right there. And I'll put the other one right there. Okay. And let's just keep going along. Let's get some more done. Just line them up. This green and silver one. We're just going to do this one in pink. Because, you know, it's a contrasting color. And I like to use the brush tip because it's a little bit more precise. Actually, let's do the pink and then a green. Yeah, let's do that. I think that will be a nice contrast. And plus, it'll have one color that's already there. Peel them off. And I just got these cute little blings at the Dollar Tree. Nothing too expensive. Let's put two on there. And then the other one, I'm going to put in the corner, just right on top of that. Nice, huh? Now let's take the season's greetings and let's do it in the pinks, the light pastel pink. Let's do two of them light pastel pink. And then we'll do a pop of the green, I think. I think that would look pretty nice. It's a great way to make use of your supplies, and we're going to turn this one this way, and I'm going to put this pink one right up there, and then I'm going to put one down here, and then let's take that last little green one. Oh no, he wants to stick. Put it right on by that green one, see? All right, well, let's just keep going. Let's do the North Pole one, and this one, and then that one. Okay, this one, let's just do this one in pink. Okay, so the deeper pink and then the lighter pink. You can tell just how easy it is to just color these up. Okay, let's turn it this way. We'll separate that one little one, put these two up here. I'm going to put the other one right there in that corner there. Fabulous. And then, okay, let's do this one. Let's do, let's do just blue. Let's do just one shade of blue and we'll move them around. Okay. One, two, three. I think that'll be a pretty nice contrast. And let's put one up here. Let's put one over here and then we'll put one right there in the middle there see we made a, a triangle let's line up some more so i think on this blue one let's let's do the light pink just all light pink and at christmas the north pole just do light pink okay them off. Let's put, let's see, one there. You'll do one on the middle there and one on the bottom here. 
And I think that, let's see if I get the cube. It's a little bit the same as that, but that's good, right? Let's bring a few more down. Okay, the green and blue one. Well, let's use the deep purple. Okay. So one, two, I mean the deep pink, not the deep purple. And you can tell how I hold on to it at the bottom here so it doesn't tear all of that off. And on this one, let's do two down here and one up there. Okay, on this one, let's just do green. See, and the quicker you can make the choices, the quicker you're going to put your little projects together and limit your supplies. So this is the green. And let's put one up here. And then let's separate these ones. Put one down here and the other one right about there. Okay. Let's bring some more down. Let's bring the rest of the down ones down that we need to work on. Let's flip around these ones that we've already gotten done so you guys can see what they look like. Okay. So you can see them better. So just what cute little tags they are. And how they don't really take a lot of time. Okay, so we've got, I think, four left. Yep, let's finish up these last little four. So in this one, let's just do green. Put this opposite there. One, two, three. And on this one, let's put them. See? One, two, and then three. Okay, we do this next one. Let's do it in light pink. And we'll put two up here, so one there, one there, and then we'll put the other light pink right down there. So it looks like that. And then this one, let's do, let's go ahead and do the, the, the blue. Let's just do three of them. Okay, and then we're going to pick the color for this one, which I want to do in the hot pink. This way I've given a little bit longer time to dry. I've noticed some of them have been rubbing off a little bit. Okay. Take that off. We could do on this one, the two up here. And then put that other one on the green there. And then on this one, peel off those three pinks. And we're going to put two up here. And then one here in this little corner. Okay, and then what I'd like to do also with these, because we have the front is all nice and decorated and it looks so pretty, you can put your ribbon or your string right through it, is to go ahead and flip them over to the back, and then you already have this little bit of design, and then I've had this too from Stamp, like, for a very long time. It's from Stamp Affair. I don't even know where I bought it, maybe at a garage sale or a craft store, but I like to use this dozens of, dozens of terrific stamp primary rainbow pad but it's now just a brown pad because I've had it for so long it's been upside down and 
and how it shouldn't be, <laughs> but go ahead and stamp that so the ink is now brown. And just go with the orientation that it is. So like this would be like this. And so just stamp it right there. And look how adorable that is. And then you can write the two, write who it's to and write who it's from. And so I'm just going to stamp out a few of these so that you can see that. And then that will be it. And then also I wanted to show you one other thing. There was one where I made a little boo-boo because I didn't get it stamped quite as I wanted it to. And let me see where that one is. See, and it's okay that the line goes over because I've had this stamp forever and I just love it. So, you know, why shouldn't you use what you love, you know? Or you can put it at the bottom too. It really is up to you. And so let's just do a few more. And you can make these ahead of time. Make sure you, you know, because they're just very quick and easy with limited supplies. But yeah, after this one, let me find that one that, that I boo-booed on. There's one that I did a slight boo-boo on. Let's see. Yeah, this one was my slight boo-boo. But it doesn't really matter that that doesn't show because you can always just write over it. So that's no biggie. So just ink your stamp up well. Put it right there. To and from. You can still see that. And then just write the name on it. So it's really not, really not a biggie, guys. So because everybody makes mistakes once in a while. They're just tags after all. But you had fun making them, and I think that that is what counts, that you have fun making them, that they're enjoyable for you. They're simple, very quick, and pretty darn easy. And I wonder just how many I made up. Let's see, let's see how many tags were actually in here. And it said there were 20 tags, and I maybe took away, like, um, maybe I've already done... Um, like four or five of them ahead so basically I stamped up 15 cards so yeah I'm really actually pretty darn happy with that I think I've almost stamped up all of them oh my goodness yeah I think I have oh my goodness well okay here's one and just look how nice that would look on their packaging, you know, just be really fun. You know, it's that personal touches that I think everybody really appreciates. And so I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you enjoyed the little tips and ideas I had for how to make it quicker and easier. And you know, don't worry if you make a mistake, you know, you're just here to have fun and feel like you're having a good time designing and you have a lovely day and you, yes, you are so very kind. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.